Hello, this is Dan Bashenbauer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the native ad lookalike section of my body reboot site. So the first thing I did is I created six images and sized them to be 1,000 by 500 pixels. I then uploaded those images to my website host, and then I created pretty links to those six images. And then now I will use those six pretty links to set up my advert group. All right, so what we need to do is come down here to the Add Rotate Pro section and then click on Groups and then click on Add New. All right, then give your group a name. I did right here. And the mode, you need to make sure that that's set to Block. And the advert size, we want 220 by 180 pixels. Block size, we want one row and six columns. Well, um, and make sure that the count impressions uh, is checked. And then click on Save Group. And then it shows up right here. All right, so now we're going to create a new advert in Ad Rotate Pro. So under Add Rotate Pro, click on Adverts. Okay, then give your new advert a name. Paste in this code right here. And then change the hrefs to point to wherever you want them to go when they click on the image. In my case, I want them to go to my ebook capture page. So I put that URL in here. And then I put that URL in here right here also. And then right here is the text that goes right underneath your image. All right, then scroll down. So you uploaded your image to your WordPress site. So find that image URL here, and then your image will show up right here. Sometimes the image doesn't show up. And if I just click in here and change a character and back it out and add it back in again, it shows up, so I'm not sure. It's kind of some kind of a hiccup with that um, plugin, I guess. Then come down here and for statistics, click here to enable click and impression tracking for this advert. And make sure your status here is set to enabled. This advert will be visible. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select your ad group that you previously made and then click on Save Advert. Okay, so I added all six of my ads now. But one thing, or a couple things I did notice is the start and end date are the same. And I have uh, error detected up here. And it says six adverts have configuration errors. So I'm not sure if the start and end date thing is gonna mess up this stuff later on. I might have to come back and change this. Another thing I noticed is if you edit one of these and you scroll down, it uh, the status automatically turns into disabled. So if you ever edit one of your banners, you're going to have to come in here and click on enable and then click on save advert. Oh, one more thing that I did is inside my ads here is I changed this uh, URL here to my pretty link URL. Instead of using the upload of the WordPress URL to my JPEG, I use my pretty link here. And of course, since I'm in here editing again, I got to change this to enable and then click on save advert. So now we need to obtain our ad group groups short code. So underneath the Add Rotate Pro, click on Groups. Find the new group that you just created. In my case, it was called this guy here. So I'll click on that. And then scroll down to the Usage area. And you want to copy this and put this into a document that you can use later on. Now we want to come down here to Appearance, Widgets, 
now we need to expand the after entry here. So click here and then scroll down on this left side here until we find the text area. We want to select that and slide it up and put it and drop it right here into the after entry area, like so. Now for title, put in recommended colon. And then in this area here, paste in that add rotate group that you just copied from the group area and click on save. All right, then go to your website and then scroll down and see if those ads show up. All right, and, and in my case, they are not. So I think it's those errors that I was getting about the date. And so I'm going to have to investigate that and, and get back to this. Okay, so I talked to Curtis in support, and he gave me some ideas on how to clean up these uh, six advert configuration errors. So one thing he suggested doing is coming in here to Add Rotate Pro, click on Adverts. And if I scroll down here, I'll notice that the configuration error key is yellow and this whole section here is yellow. So it looks like all these have an error. And I believe the error is that the start and end dates are the same. So I scroll down to the section here that says choose schedules. And I want to run this indefinitely. So I'll just select this ID here and click on Save Advert. Okay, so now I only have five errors. So that one did go away. So now if I go to Add Rotate Pro and click on Schedules, I will see the one schedule here that I just updated to be infinitely uh, viewed. All right, so I'm going to update each one of these then. So I'll click on Edit, come down here to Choose Schedules, select that guy, and click on Save Advert, select the next one, come on down here, Select him, click on Save Advert. Next one, scroll down to the Choose Schedules. Select that, click on Save Advert. Select the next one. Come on down here to Choose Schedules. Select that, click on Save Advert. And then there's one more left here. And come down here. Oops, I went too far. Choose schedules, select that, click on save advert. All right, so now if I go into my schedules, okay, so now all my adverts are disabled, and I'm not sure why. But let's go in here and select all these a bulk action and let's say activate and then click on go okay so now all of my ads are now in this section here called active adverts and you'll see the start and end date is different now so my end date is February 28th, 2025, and my air messages went away up here. Okay, so I noticed that when I refresh my website and go down to the bottom, that those ads are not displaying. But the issue is they don't display on the main website page they display within the blog post itself so if i select this blog post here and then scroll down 
now I'll see my six ads that I added. And if I click on any of these ads, they'll take me to my free book offer. And right now I have them all going to my free book offer. So that is now working. So I'd just like to thank Curtis for his help and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.